So the NBA season being just around the corner, I want to talk about the 10 best power forwards in the game today. But before I get into the list, here's all the rules. This list is my opinion, so don't get too mad at it. Number two, this list most likely would change over the season. So that's basically saying nothing on this list is permanent. And number three, you are allowed to disagree. But now with that being said, let's get into the top 10 power forwards in the league today. Of course, starting off with number 10. Number 10, I got Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris was pretty good for the Sixers. He averaged 17.6 rebounds and 3 assists with a 56 TS percentage. I don't think Tobias Harris will be on this list by the end of this season. I mean, of course he's a good player, but I feel like somebody would take him out of the top 10. But with that being said, right now he's a top 10 power forward in the league. Now let's move on to number 9 on my list. Number 9 on my list, I got John Collins. Collins is just great for the Hawks, and that's exactly what they need. He's a super athletic player and shot 36% from 3 last year. Also with his athleticism, he's pretty good on defense. He was averaging a block a night last season. But with that being said, let's get into his stats. Last season, John Collins averaged 16.7 rebounds and 1 assist with a 61 TS percentage. I definitely think John Collins is going to move on my list by the end of the season. He definitely have all the tools to do it. But now let's move on to number 8. Number 8, I got Draymond Green. This might shock a lot of people. But Green's playmaking and defense is very vital for the Golden State Warriors. As we all know, Draymond is a very versatile defender. He can actually go at the 1 through 5 with little to no problem. And when it comes to playmaking, he's a great playmaker for the Warriors, with him being the best playmaker on the team. And I think every team would love to have a guy like Draymond. But let's get into what he did last year. Last year, he averaged 7.7 rebounds and 7 assists with a 58 TS percentage. And with that being said, Draymond Green ended up number 8 on my list. Now let's move on to number 7. Number 7, I got Demontis Sabonis. Sabonis had a pretty decent season last year. He averaged 18 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists, and had a TS percentage at 60%. I'm going for a little rant right quick. With him being on the Sacramento Kings, I think the Kings will actually do something this year. Him and Fox could be a pretty good duo out in the West. I can definitely see him and the Kings fighting for the 8th and 9th seed in the West next year, and possibly upsetting the team and making the playoffs for the first time in a while. But with that being said, I got Sabonis number 7 on my list. Let's move on to number 6. Number 6 on my list, I got the Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes is an amazing player. I see big things for him in the future. I mean, the man can literally do everything on the court. And he was able to hit the Raptors make the playoffs. But with that being said, let's get into his stats. In his rookie year, Scott Barnes averaged 15 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. With a TS percentage of 55%. This guy is definitely going to be something coming soon. And might end up being the top 5 power forward by next year. And with that being said, Scott Barnes is number 6 on my list. Now let's move on to number 5 on my list. Number 5 on my list is the unicorn, Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley was just spectacular during his rookie season. I used to think he was the best rookie that year. But apparently the NBA don't agree. But with that being said, Evan Mobley was a big piece for what the Cavs did last season. He helped them have one of the best defenses in the league last year. And he led rookies in blocks and rebounds. And I think he should have made an all-defensive team last year. I also think he should have won rookie of the year, but that's neither here or there. But with all that being said, let's get into his stats. And Mobley, rookie season, he would have 15 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 assists. Also with a block a night. And he would have a TS percentage of 54%. And with that being said, I have Evan Mobley as a top 5 power forward in basketball. I think he'll be a top 3 power forward by the end of next season. But maybe I'm being a little biased. Let's move on to number 4. Number 4, I got Spicy P. Spicy P was the best player for the Raptors last year. He averaged 22 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. And had a TS percentage of 56%. Spicy P is one of my favorite players in the league. I also think he's a bit underrated. But with all that being said, let's move on to the top 3. Of course, starting off with number 3. Number 3, I got Zion Williamson. Zion will definitely be a top power forward next year. I have no doubt about it. Even with him coming off that injury, I still think very highly of him. I was just thinking him and the Pelicans can make the playoff next year because they have a pretty good team over there. But now let's get into his stats from when he was fully healthy. And that's easy. He had for 27 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists with a 64 TS percentage. Zion is just dominant. And I definitely see him being one of the best players next year. But with that said, I got him number 3 on my list. And now let's move on to number 2. Number 2, I got AD. Even with AD only playing 40 games last year, he is still one of the best power forwards in the league. Last season, he averaged 23 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 assists with a 57 TS percentage. I definitely see AD bouncing back from last year. But with that being said, let's move on to number one on my list. Number one is the Greek Freak. I'm pretty sure this is a surprise by no one. Giannis is easily the best power forward in basketball, so I don't really have to say too much about him. So let's just get into his stats. Last year, he averaged 29 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists, with a TS percentage of 63%. With that being said, Giannis is the best power forward in basketball. All right, so that's all I got for this video. If you enjoy, I think you should like and sub. Or don't, that's your choice. But that's all I got for this video. I'm out.